Everybody's feelings on a June meeting. Well, we still are supposed it's to be calling in the NHMA to discuss uh, the dues. As you recall, at the town meeting delivery session, it was voted down to, uh, that is to say, it was voted up to remove the membership yeah. from the budget. To remove it, however, and that was in light of the new budget, which failed, and it was in the default budget, which means it was paid. No, I'm not disputing that. I'm just saying that the the voters in the delivery session, which while many might think has been eviscerated, I respect what goes on in the delivery session. And I think that uh, perhaps the issue wasn't given a sufficient airing. Certainly NHMA wasn't there to uh, put their case forward. And that's why we discussed a couple months ago and we agreed, I thought as a, as a committee, to invite the NHMA in to point Put that, put, let them put their case out as to why we're paying this dues and what benefit we get out of it. And uh, I, I think that be a, that'll make things a lot easier when we have to deal with it and you know, later on in the fall. Because it, it's going to be brought up probably again at the delivery session. And if we don't have this, you know, fully thought out, then... I will tell you from this point on for the summer, it gets very, very difficult to get anybody in here. Right. Well, we're talking right. June, so... Well, yeah, we're talking June. Right. Season begins May, uh, May I 31st. Thought we, I thought he was going to have somebody tonight. I thought it was the original plan. Well, it was originally decided that we were going to have someone invited for this month, but apparently they well, the it crisis. didn't happen. Okay. So let's do this. Let's plan on doing it next month, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Because I think we need to hear that. Because it'll be it'll be coming up in the budget season, and if the selectmen they might even want to have some feedback on that too. We've okay. had feedback on it. Mm. And you're very positive about it, or negative? Well, from a, from a financial point of view, I'm very positive because it's <laughs> cheap on the it, because the refund, the, the the lawsuit money coming back. If we're not a member, we don't get that. And the insurance, the health insurance, is much cheaper. The, there were only two bids in the health insurance. It's much cheap, cheaper. So, from the aspect of, uh, I understand what went on prior, and I understand their whole point of view, but. This We're talking about financial. There's been a huge change, as you know, with them, with a whole big turnover. So there's, there's a financial issue there you, you have to take a look at. I, I think, I think you know, I'm inclined to think that it's, it's money well spent. But I think the, uh, the airing that took place in the delivery session gives rise to the need to, uh, to let the public hear what value the NHMA is bringing for the dollars that we spend in dues. Um, otherwise, it's just going to fester and then rise up again in the next delivery session, and we're going to be right back from where we started from. So The uh, funding for that, and, and it comes out of the selectman's budget, or is it part of the selectman's budget? No. 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 Budget. no they actually, it's under the insurance budget. Right, it's under the insurance yeah. budget, administered by whose who's who's authority? Selectman? You mean who writes the check for it? Yeah. Uh, the town manager authorizes the check. So he's the, I don't know if there's a department head for insurance. But who's line, under whose line item does it, does it fall? I don't remember. The yeah. town manager comes in and he, it, he presented it to us. The town managers? It will, come on, it will come under the financial department. Yeah. Okay. It came under no, it's my under insurance. Mm -hmm. All right. Insurance, it's personnel, right. that comes on under. Right. Now it will come under um, so we discussed that last fall and I asked the town manager, you know, why this was under insurance when it's not insurance and he explained that, you know, we need to be a member in order to do this kind of insurance so we just throw it in there because it makes more sense there and it didn't make any sense to move it to another place and so there it remains. Uh, it's lot, not a big deal where it is. Right. Uh, the fact is that, you know, the voters are the ones that decide on the bottom line budget. If they don't like something in that budget like NHMA, then they can move to take it out in a deliberate session. And just as they did last year, and um, you know, and, unless the voters are uh, educated as to the value of the thing, then they're going to be inclined to throw it out again, and maybe that's not a good thing. So you know, let let, let us you know. This is the forum for airing. That's what we are for: is to uh, assist the voters in understanding these things. I think it's a good point, there, Mr. Jones, because we associate the. New Hampshire Municipal Association with the LGC, who was the people who sort of did this so-called yeah, kind of with the insurance, yeah. and now they're two separate entities, uh, pretty much 
separated completely from what I understand. So the New Hampshire Municipal Association is technically, supposedly, not, has nothing to do with this crowd over there. However, like Jim said, if you want the insurance, yeah. and they have the best price in town, they do. He's not misleading right. us at all there. That's a true statement. Everything he said is absolutely correct. So I don't I dispute it. I believe it's that's a smart true move well. to have it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't support getting rid of it to start with. As it turned out with the default budget, it, we have it whether it passed at the blue session or not, though. But I think the public should be aware that this is not the old LGC. This is the so-called new New Hampshire Municipal Association. So there's a value in having them. Oh, I think so. Yeah, that, absolutely. If that yeah. As I recall, the, the delivery session uh, took the money out, right? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. But as I recall, Fred had already paid the dues for 030. Yes. That's right. correct. That's so right. basically, it would still be in the budget when it was defaulted right. for this year. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're still a member. The dues was paid right. for this year. As I also recall, the benefits exceeded the dues. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. By far. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so my, uh, my concern would be that a meeting in June discussing something that may or may not occur in February may not be informational. I would look for that to be, well, they have their meeting maybe to pull another date out of the hat in September. Now, the, your point, uh, Mr. Ladd, is that you think it's February. Actually, we'll be talking about the budget in uh, probably October, November time. We're right? talking about informing people who go to the delivery session about an issue they may or may not confront depending on when it's brought up in February. We don't know what their schedule mm. is. That, that's also so true in June. But we'll, we'll get a lot of publicity, though, on the bu June and Budget Committee meeting that will be covering that. Yeah, the, the, the video yeah. will be available in, yeah. in, in yeah. March. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Let, right. Let me throw this out there because we're talking about the summer schedule, okay? I don't know what their schedule is. And I know there's some spots that they're pretty hectic on, actually. It's more I think about it, September's one of the months. You're How talking about, about the end of this, the legislative season, which they'll be very busy. Yes. Mm -hmm. And my, so while we're not busy, they may be busy. They may not be able to come down and talk to us. How about if I ask if there is a spot in their schedule, and then I'll try to find a meeting date to try to coordinate that. It may or may not be now. You know, I think if we just simply ask for a literature from them that explains the benefits of, of being a, a well, dues paying. Sure. You can point to, you can point, they'll just point you to their website. They have a whole bunch of stuff out there. But the website doesn't necessarily answer the questions that might well, have, I been, we have, should, have arisen. We should get the I mean, literature. Dave Lang was the main, uh, um, in fact, he was the one that made the motion to defund uh, NHMA dues. But for now, about the literature. And he brought up later. He brought up questions in his his uh, <coughs> presentation that, and I've been to the L the NHMA website, and they don't have answers to some of the questions that Dave was raising. So, um, no. But here's the thing: Are we bringing them in to grill them over past history, or are we bringing them in for the value that they bring to town? <laughs> I think, it's, I, think it's, it's, I think the, the issue is, I, and I think it's really kind of an apples and oranges thing as I see it, because Dave Lang was talking on, on one level, and they were responding to him via a letter to the editor, I believe, uh, on a different level. And so it's but kind of this going on. Yeah, but this is my question. And what is our intent I think we can with fill having that gap. somebody from the Services agency? that are provided for the dues that are paid. Right. Mm. That's, right. that's the question. Yeah. I think that can be found in literature, though, Mike. Right. Having it online or supplied by them, we can look that stuff over. And then, if we have questions, questions yes. sure, but uh, getting it out, looked out open to the public. The question. Question. Well, we don't. I mean, <laughs> we have so, if we got the material first right, on their website, you can right. get the material. So, you know what? Let's just schedule a June meeting, and in the June meeting, I'll reach out and see what the possibilities are. And I think the least we get is what Jerry's suggesting a letter that we can then look over and discuss.